AITA for telling my friend with kids that I'm glad the village doesn't exist anymore. I have a friend, Bella, who is late 20s and has a toddler and a baby. She constantly bemoans the fact that the village doesn't exist anymore and people aren't helping. Her and her partner with their baby the way they used to in past generations and how selfish it is. And how terrible this is society now. She's really bitter her mother won't retire and babysit the kids for free. But her mother is only in her mid-50s and can't afford to retire yet. She constantly complains she can't travel or enjoy her life anymore because she doesn't have a village. After years of this, I told her I'm actually really glad we have moved away from that because the village that parents romanticize was actually the unpaid labor of women. And as a woman who doesn't want a child, I'm glad that I'm no longer considered socially obligated to babysit other people's kids for free or do household chores for people who chose to have kids in my free time. Especially because these people won't pay it forward to me in any way. And if something happened to me, like getting really sick and needing help, they'd use their kids as a reason they can't help me. I also reminded her that the village depended on women not having jobs and it is a good thing. That women can now sustain themselves and aren't forced into dependency on their fathers or husbands. The thing that triggered it was that I went overseas recently for a holiday and to attend a concert of an artist I really like and she complained about how she doesn't get to do these things because the village is off doing things like that. She said I'm just a really selfish child-free person who wants mothers to suffer. But I don't think I was wrong. And then she said I was a bad feminist and a terrible person and hasn't spoken to me since. AITA? NTA. So many things from caring for the sick, disabled, community projects, to helping raise children was unpaid women's labors that relied on us not being able to work. Yes. It's unfair now that women are expected to work and raise children unless the men are doing an equal share, but in this case it just sounds like your friend wasn't ready for the responsibility of a child. NTA. The village is supposed to be a support system people helping people. It is not expecting other people to babysit for free or shoulder the parenting of your kids so you can go on trips and enjoy life. Sounds like she probably shouldn't have had kids. NTA. She admitted that she's mad because you're enjoying your life instead of sacrificing yourself to make her life better, all while receiving nothing in return. And she feels so, so sorry for herself because of that. She said I'm just a really selfish child-free person who wants mothers to suffer. She chose to interpret what you said in the worst way possible. That's her mental gymnastics to navigate. Don't get caught up in her BS. NTA and I agree with you. Yikes. Your friend just called parenting, suffering. Why did she had kids in the first place if this was too much for her? NTA. You are 100% right. When you have a kid, it's nice if you have help. But you should never rely on other people to raise your child in your place while you travel and enjoy life. She doesn't get to do these things because the village is off doing things like that. Traveling and going to concerts. She doesn't get to do those things because she chose to have kids when she was not ready for the change in lifestyle that it implies. NTA and I say chose because they are two. And if you are having an accident, twice in my opinion you are actively choosing to have that accident. NTA the village did not necessarily even exist universally. There was cases where parents had the support of their family and friends. But there were plenty who didn't. It reminds me of people who romanticize notable, but not universal, elements of the post-war period because they feel entitled to it as owed. AKA, American Dream, where, everyone, had a family house. 
two cars, 2.5 kids, 1-1 one, one income sure, there was the rise of s urbanization, but there were still cities, the poor, and variety of circumstances. NTA. Furthermore, what she is saying is historically incorrect. While it is true that in the past, a village, helped with children. Things were such because such help was needed to survive. Not in order to allow parents to take a break or relax. Let alone, travel. As she states. In no way that happened. NTA. Your friend just regrets having a child. She wanted to have a child. But she didn't want to be a mother. Poor child. NTA. Your friend wants to be a parent in name only. And is upset that no one else is willing to give her permanent free childcare. She isn't your friend. This won't get better. Drop her. NTA. C. The thing about the village is that it does exist in a different way. In echoes and ripples. Those who cast into the village pool are then blessed by it. Kindness without expectations begets kindness without expectations. It's not a wonder to me why your friend is missing out. I really hate how this village proverb is used by parents nowadays because they understand it as a complete one-way street. Village help with my kids. But my kids and me don't owe anyone anything. That's not the village model. Social obligation goes both ways. And with its social control and all the not-so-great things about close-knit communities. Edit. NTA. Bad feminist, that's a good one. Nope. You are NTA. If your friend wanted the benefits of a village she should have helped build one before she got pregnant the first time. But I'm guessing that she did not go out of her way to help parents before she became a parent. Herself. So it's kinda on her. When you think about it. I just wanna say that the downside of the village was that everyone who offered help and or who might offer help also felt free to meddle in the family life of everyone else in the village. Today's young parents largely insist that any help with their children be on their own terms. And that was absolutely impossible back in the days when the extended family was chock a block with women stuck at home who would babysit for free. If you asked one of those women to babysit, they'd feed the child whatever it was they were cooking and ignore dietary restrictions. And when you came to pick up the kid they'd probably tell you that the kid was slow for their age. Or ill-mannered or their clothes were a disgrace. The village is metaphorical and you have to make your own. My friends waited to become parents in their late 30s and early 40s so everyone in our friend group has settled down, in a sense. I'm not married but I have two cats so I can't just dart off to Europe. We help my friends with their kids because we want to. They're our nephews. Sounds like you guys aren't compatible as friends anymore. I dunno. I'm leaning NTA since I think she was out of line to call you a bad feminist but seems kind of like. Maybe you guys weren't very suited to be friends now that you're both so different. I don't think her complaints about the lack of a perceived support network were really in anthropological argument that needed your rebuttal. But I get why it could frustrate you after a while. I'm child-free and still wish things were different for parents these days. But hey. Did she chat with the village elders first? NTA I'm sick of modern parents crying about the village. When they really mean unpaid babysitters so they can go out. NTA. You articulated how a lot of single women feel when they hear their friends with partners and kids. Bemoaning how life's not fair because they can't have it both ways. There are pros and cons to each lifestyle. And you make the best of the one you find yourself in. People who have never had to stand alone on their own two feet whine like this a lot I find. This post feels like a debate setup. If you enjoyed this video, 
Please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.